The Trump appointed federal district court judge Eileen Cannon has delayed the start of the documents case in Florida indefinitely. I view the obstruction of justice part of that criminal case to be the best chance to convict Trump of a felony, assuming Cannon does not gut the case with evidentiary rulings. I will link my last discussion of the obstruction of justice uh, part of that case in the more section below. For several months, I have noted that Cannon was slow walking decisions on the various pretrial motions filed by Trump's attorneys, many of which are frivolous in my opinion. The end result was that the trial would likely be delayed until after the election. She has made that official now. A former district court judge noted that most of these motions filed by Trump's attorneys could have already been decided, provided Cannon wanted to try the case before the election, uh, starting no later than this summer, a few weeks after the conclusion of the New York criminal trial, which is ongoing now. Based on Cannon refusing to act on the pending motions within a reasonable time frame and Cannon's prior orders in the case, including the one reversed by a unanimous appeals court panel consisting of three Republican judges, one reasonable conclusion is that Cannon will and wants to delay the trial until after the election and thereby avoiding avoiding hurting Trump, Trump's election uh, chances in the event he is convicted or would be convicted of one or more of the felonies charged in that case. Is that her motive for delay? It may or may not be, but the delay is consistent with both her incompetence, which is clearly on display, and that intent or some combination of the two. The Republican justices on the Supreme Court have likely created a delay that will prevent the insurrection case from being tried before the election. If Trump wins in November, I would expect him to order his attorney general to fire Jack Smith, which can only be done due to, quote, misconduct, dereliction of duty, incapacity, conflict of interest, or for other good cause, including violation of departmental policies, end quote. C-28 Code of Federal Regulations, Section 600.7. That limitation on the special counsel's removal will likely not be observed uh, in substance Good cause does not include avoiding a trial and conviction for, fel uh, for committing felonies. I would anticipate that the primary qualification of Trump's AG's appointment would be the willingness to fire Jack Smith. That would, uh, if, if it happens, and I expect it will if Trump, is, if Trump wins in November, there will be a third impeachment of Trump when and if the Democrat, Democrats regain uh, control over the House during Trump's term, which may occur in the, uh, when they're sworn in in January 2025. No conviction of Trump will ever be possible in the Senate since the Republicans would never vote in sufficient numbers to remove Trump from office no matter what he does. Some may recall uh, that Republican senators, including Barry Goldwater, met with Nixon and told him he would be convicted in the Senate if he did not resign, and then he resigned. The GOP had principled uh, senators in 1974, and almost none after Romney, Romney retires now. The GOP House and Senate members are now servile to an authoritarian demagogue who is incapable of being truthful about almost anything. 
the AG who fires Smith would also be impeached in the scenario that I have outlined above.